From a row of electric buses in China that went up in flames, and a gas station in Saudi Arabia that exploded from beneath the parking lot, to a lasso of molten steel that covered the floor of this factory in India, and a lithium-ion battery that spontaneously burst into flames. Here are seven catastrophic failures caught on CCTV camera. The Longest Coastline in India award goes to Gujarat, the country's fifth largest state. With roughly 900 miles of coast, they're responsible for about 40% of India's ocean cargo. As you can imagine, hundreds of boats and trucks move through the ports every day. One tiny accident can cause a major disruption. On August 28th of 2019, one of those tiny accidents occurred at a ferry dock in the city of Bhavnagar. CCTV cameras were rolling as a dump truck barreled down the loading bridge. It didn't take a genius to realize they were going way too fast. All seems normal at first as our truck comes down the ramp, but you realize how fast they're going when the driver makes a sharp right turn. One of the workers watches as the truck disappears off camera. The truck is teetering on the dock when we pick it back up. Its weight carries it into the water, which, judging by the size of the boat, must have been about a 20-foot drop. Luckily, the driver and their passenger were rescued and walked away unharmed. According to reports, their brakes failed while rolling down the ramp. The driver thought the barrier might stop them, but they crashed through it instead. It's unclear if they ever retrieved the truck. It may still be sitting at the bottom of the sea. So many things are made of steel, from buildings and cars to bridges, trains, and cooking appliances. To meet these needs, steel must be molded into infinite shapes and sizes. This is where steel mills come into play. They'll superheat the steel to about 2,500 degrees. This makes it easier to mold as it runs through various machines. This also makes it extremely dangerous. Jams in the machine can lead to steel cobbles. CCTV footage from a mill in India shows how unpredictable they can be. Workers are roaming around the mill when something goes wrong with one of the rollers. It spits out a lasso of molten steel that nearly touches the roof. It rains down to the floor as workers flee to safety. Thankfully, everyone made it out before the situation got any worse. Watch how the steel cobble settles on a trajectory and spirals in one spot. Eventually, the belt empties and some workers approach to inspect the scene. You might be asking why someone didn't hit the emergency shutoff. Well, doing so could cause the steel to cool in the rollers. If that happens, it's basically impossible to remove. Instead, the workers wait for the molten lasso to cool. Then, they cut it with torches. The city of Al Medina, also known as the Enlightened City, is the capital of Medina province in Saudi Arabia. It's home to about 1.5 million people, making it the fifth largest city in the country by population. On December 5th of 2019, a handful of those citizens were filling up at a local naft gas station. Little did they know, something dangerous was brewing beneath their feet. Cars drive by on what looks like a typical Saudi Arabian afternoon. Then, without warning, beams of fire shoot from the ground. The covers soar hundreds of feet into the air, and the cement bubbles like a bomb went off underneath. Smoke fills the gas station before blowing across the street. When it's gone, you can see how much damage the explosion caused. From another angle, we see people pumping gas before all hell breaks loose. There's a car parked nearby that was likely destroyed in the blast. Patrons flee. One passenger jumps out while the driver pulls away from the gas line still attached. It whips back like an elastic. Thankfully, no more gas was coming out. It's unclear what caused the underground explosion. Luckily, nobody got hurt. Baisu, China is a prefecture-level city in Guangxi province, located on the northeastern border of Vietnam. It's home to about 1.4 million people, many of whom rely on public transportation to get around town. These new electric buses usually do the trick. Usually. 
A fire broke out around 6 a.m. in a parking lot full of e-buses. All it took was one of them to go up in flames. Cameras roll outside the bus station as smoke billows from the first bus. Then, boom, it erupts in a massive fireball. Sparks ignite the second bus in line as thick black smoke rises into the morning sky. It also sets the nearby dumpsters on fire. That is certainly one way to deal with all the garbage. The video skips ahead about 90 seconds, just as the third bus starts to catch. The footage speeds up, and about a minute later, we see the fourth bus is engulfed in flames. Firefighters arrive around 6.31 to combat the blaze. By the time it's out, you can see how much damage it caused. All that's left of the first three buses are charred skeletons. The scary part is that nobody knows how the fire started. Most believe it had something to do with the battery inside the first bus. If it was going to malfunction, at least it happened while the bus was parked and nobody was near it. London Stansted Airport is an international hub about 42 miles northeast of central London. It serves over 160 destinations between Asia, Europe, and Africa. It's also the base for several low-cost airlines, the most popular being Ryanair, an Irish company headquartered in Dublin. October 4th of 2023 began as a typical day in London Stansted. Then, a tiny miscommunication between a truck and a Ryanair plane caused a massive bungle. Ryanair flight FR2861 is turning into the gate when a mobility truck meant to help disabled passengers off the plane gets a little too eager. The Boeing 737 clips the truck, nearly ripping the roof off and leaving a massive dent in the wing. Footage from passengers inside the plane shows how bad the damage was. Luckily, nobody was hurt and everyone got off the plane safely. According to reports, the Boeing has remained grounded since the accident. It's unclear if the truck driver or the pilot was in the wrong place at the wrong time. We're leaning toward the truck driver, though. Wuhu, China is a prefecture-level city of about 3.6 million people in Anhui province. The city has come a long way since it was first inhabited in 570 BCE. Think of all the technological advancements it's seen along the way. For example, the lithium-ion battery. CCTV cameras were rolling outside of a bike repair shop in Wuhu City on October 27th of 2021. According to an employee, a customer wanted to replace the lithium-ion battery in their scooter. They bought a new lead-acid battery and left the old one on the ground. A few moments later, they realized why this guy didn't want it anymore. Once the fire calmed down, an employee ran over with an extinguisher. While it left a big black stain on the ground, it doesn't look like the fire damaged any other scooters. This battery explosion is what's called a thermal runaway. It's when the lithium-ion cells create more heat than they can effectively disperse. This leads to a rapid and uncontrollable release of energy, which can result in a fiery explosion. Thermal runaways can occur for several reasons. It can be an internal short circuit, heat exposure, or overcharging. Since they generate their own oxygen, lithium-ion fires can be difficult to extinguish. Luckily, these guys had a special fire extinguisher on hand. While on the subject of batteries, let's talk about how to dispose of them properly. Rule number one, you can't recycle lithium-ion batteries the same way as lead-acid batteries. Doing so can have dire and dangerous consequences. The lead-acid recycling process involves crushing the battery. If a lithium-ion gets under the crusher, it can explode under the pressure. This next clip shows how big that explosion can be. Lead-acid batteries ride up the conveyor belt and fall into a crusher off-screen. 
Meanwhile, our plant worker keeps their eyes peeled for anything that doesn't belong. Look at all the junk this guy's already picked off the belt. Meanwhile, his co-worker unloads a forklift full of dead batteries. Unfortunately, there's a lithium ion mixed in with the rest. It slips by the sorter, likely when he turned his back. Then, moments later, kaboom! The battery explodes in the machine, forcing the men to evacuate. Luckily, both of them seem okay. According to the EPA, lithium-ion batteries should never go in your household garbage. They must be taken to a special recycling site or your local hazardous waste collection area. If you enjoyed this video and want to see another just like it, then be sure to click the link on screen now. With that, thanks for watching and be sure to tune in next time.